This Wednesday is National Margarita Day, so let's celebrate. But heads up, retailer and shoppers better beware. A bit of history first. The earliest occurrence of the famed cocktail was in 1938 by the father of the drink, Carlos Danny Herrera. He made it in his restaurant located in Baja, California, for a famous customer named Marjorie King. She was a dancer on the hit American theatrical Broadway, Zigfield Follies, and she was allergic to spirits, but not tequila. The margarita he created was triple sec tequila and lime juice. Ten years later, in 1948, Margarita Sames of Dallas High Society said she created the drink in her vacation home for her guests in Acapulco, Mexico in 1948. Tommy Hilton of the Hilton Hotel fame, who was friends with Margarita, attended the party and then brought it back to his hotel chains and put it on the menu. Jose Cuervo, the tequila brand, claimed they invented it, and it was running ad campaigns for the drink in 1945 with the catchphrase, Margarita, it's more than a girl's name. Today, there are a lot of variations. Some people add Cointreau or Grand Marnier. Some people prefer Blanco or Reposado tequila. But basically, the recipe is always the same. Tequila, an orange liqueur, and lime juice. That is until now. This brand, Big Sips, sent me their version of a margarita. And I'm really confused. It's not that simple. The larger package makes three 3.7 ounce drinks. That has 15% alcohol by volume. And the ingredients are malt beverage with natural flavors and certified color. The package front says margarita fresh lime. Retails for $3.99, and uh, there's no fresh lime in it. The 200 milliliter single serve size is marked as classic lime. This one has 16% alcohol by volume, and its ingredients are agave wine, which is actually made from fermented blue agave and then fortified by blending with a Blanco tequila. Also, natural flavors and certified colors retails for $2.99. So the question is, why not straight tequila that has a much higher alcohol content? And what's with the malt beverage? Remember what happens to wine coolers when they change from wine to malt? What about the triple sec, the fresh lime juice? This is no margarita, and it's misleading to consumers and a food crime in my book. Retail buyers, take a look at the ingredients before you put it on your shelves. So how does it taste, Phil? Well, Sally, as you know, I'm a margarita (laughs) drinker. I uh, like tequila, and neither of these taste like a margarita. Neither of them taste like tequila. It's um, it it reminds me when I was in camp um, many years ago, and they had a concoction, um, a a drink, and we used to call it bug juice. (laughs) <laughs> and and we called it bug juice because all the flies and stuff would always be around, you know, the open pictures of it. And I think that the bugs liked it better than we did. 